The late 1800s saw a surge in the creation of new bolt-action rifles. Surprisingly, American gun manufacturers were not at the forefront of this development. In 1892, the United States military's rifle competition did not include any domestic designs in the final consideration set. Instead, the three finalists were all foreign rifles, the British Lee rifle, the German Mauser, and the Norwegian Krag Jorgensen. The Krag rifle, known as the United States Magazine Rifle, caliber .30, was ultimately chosen in 1893 and served as the United States military's primary rifle for 11 years. The 1890s marked a time of global imperialism, with America emerging as a powerful nation. In 1894, the first Krag rifles were produced at the Springfield Armory. From April 21 to August 13, 1898, the United States engaged in battle with the Spanish Empire in the Caribbean and the Philippine Islands. The U.S. Navy dominated the Spanish fleet at sea. However, the U.S. Army was ill-prepared for the conflict on land, with only 25,000 troops available at the start of 1898. Despite the sudden rush of nearly 100,000 volunteers, there were limited Krag rifles available, with most National Guardsmen using the M1873 Springfield rifle. The Krag rifle, a modern infantry weapon, was a significant asset during the war. The Spanish Mauser, called the Spanish Hornet by American troops, was equipped with a high-velocity cartridge, making it superior to the .30-40 Krag. The Mauser rifle could be loaded with a faster system than the one-by-one -one loading of the Krag magazine. The U.S. Army troops using the trapdoor Springfield rifle with its black powder cartridges were at a disadvantage in modern combat. The Spanish Mauser earned its reputation at the Battle of San Juan Hill, contributing to many American casualties. American marksmanship took the hill, but the high casualties led to the replacement of the Krag rifle and the development of the M1903 Springfield rifle and .30-06 cartridge. The story of our war with Spain and the martial spirit described the deadly impact of Mauser rifles on American troops, as well as their return fire. In the years following the Spanish-American War, the Krag was used in America's lesser-known conflicts. It was used by U.S. Army and USMC troops in battles with Filipino insurgents in the Philippine-American War until July 1902. The Krag also saw action in the Islamic Moro Rebellion and the Second Samoan Civil War. Additionally, it was used during the China Relief Expedition. America was unprepared for World War I and the U.S. Army lacked modern weaponry. The M1903 Springfield rifle was in short supply, so recruits had to train with Krag rifles. Over 150,000 Krag rifles were stored in American depots and later issued to training organizations. Some Krag rifles were sent to France, but were quickly replaced by Springfield or Enfield rifles. After the war, Many Krag rifles were sold to National Rifle Association members.